gonna make a quick video on our setup and kind of what the updates are gonna be like, what we're planning on doing. I don't know what the hell happened there with this tank or why that's in the air. That is insanely weird and very sketchy, but I'm hoping, what the hell is that? I'm hoping that was my brother. That's very weird. So as you can see right now, the setup is in complete shambles. It's just completely inefficient, annoying as to deal with. Uh, it's just such a hassle to work out of here because there's, as you can see, it's just not proper working order. So we haven't had time to build this thing out the entire summer because uh, we got this truck last winter and we didn't get this machine till like midsummer, And then we got the tank also. So we, we kind of just put this together like one day just like real quick just so we could use it immediately but we didn't have time to build out anything really substantial so that's what we're going to be doing now uh, that it's january and we're not doing any jobs so uh, i plan on building a platform probably like six inches off the ground with some two by sixes and just like a piece of wood across i'm obviously going to coat it with some chemical resistant coating and then we'll go from there because i just need some more storage space under here so we can put our brushes and all and things like that it's going to be much much more efficient and just look you know be a much better use of this space. So that's the first plan of action is to build that little platform to just get everything off the ground of the truck. I also just think it'll be beneficial to not have everything screwed in right to the floor of the truck because the floor here is getting absolutely demolished uh, by the chemicals and everything. So um, I'm hoping that platform helps with that as well. This tank is like a 250, uh, 250 gallon tote. It is just so, so big and takes up so much room and we don't even use it. Every time we go to a job, we maybe fill up like a quarter of it and then the hose usually the hose pressure is is keeping it at that at that level the whole the whole job so uh we got a 65 gallon vertical tank that i'm going to be using instead of that i'm taking that out i'll sell that uh, if you want to buy it let me know and then i'm going to put that vertical tank somewhere behind here uh, and it's going to free up all that space space which is going to be amazing and i'm very excited for that because this thing is just so obnoxiously big and i just can't deal with it anymore but yeah that's pretty much the initial uh, my initial ideas, but um, I also got another tank, another vertical tank that we're, I'm, I'm going to be using for the chemicals for this to get rid of this because this is like a horizontal tank and that also takes up a lot of space. We have a lot of vertical real estate here, so that's what we want to use. And so that's what those vertical tanks are going to be used for. I also got a proportioner for this, so I'm going to be setting that up um, so that we can mix chemicals on the spot and not have to just, you know, go with whatever we batch mix in there. That's going to be super helpful. I don't know exactly what the layout is going to be. I know this is definitely going to stay here for the most part. Maybe I can move this over a little bit more so that we can maybe slide this up to here. But I don't know if that's going to work with the handle. I have to see. If you have any suggestions, definitely let me know down in the comments. But I'm still trying to piece this all together. I got to take everything out and I'll you know make a video when I do that. I'm going to take all this stuff out. Then I have to measure everything, get my tanks, and kind of see, you know, just play around with it, see where everything can go and see how... Um, everything can be set up in the most efficient manner but uh, that's pretty much it right now we have a big season coming up i know it's going to be crazy and i have some big plans so this needs to be as efficient as possible and we need to be able to do jobs like that get in and out real quick no headaches because dealing with this right now is just an absolute pain in the ass every time we do a job you got to climb in the truck and we're doing all this shit like it's just not efficient at all so uh, that's definitely something that you want to be Paying attention to and investing is your actual equipment and your whole process of fulfilling the service if you're doing the work. I want to make this as easy as possible so that when we get our next employee, it'll be super easy to just train him and show him exactly what to do uh, for everything. So right now it's a little bit complicated because we have like a whole like rigged up setup here and it's just like completely shot, but it's going to look way nicer and I'm very excited. I'll be documenting the whole process. So if you're interested in seeing how we build this thing out. Definitely subscribe and I will see you in the next one.